We're gonna play hot cross buns on flute. So in this song, you only need three different notes for flute. You need the D, okay? So remember D is the left hand thumb, two, three. Remember we don't push the first finger down for D. And on the right hand, we have one, two, three, and no pinky. So this is our D. And then we have C, we change to C. This, this is usually the toughest change as beginning flute players, D to C, because there's a lot of finger movement. But remember, there's a little trick to remembering D to C. Everything that's down will come up, and everything that's up will come down. So what that means is all these fingers, if they're down, they're gonna go up, and if they're up, they're gonna come down, and they're gonna switch places. Okay, it's, so it's a little switcheroo flip-flop. Okay, so this is D and C. See how all the fingers that were down came off? And the fingers that were up for D, they came down. So the only fingers that were up for D was that first finger and the pinky. And that's all you need to play C. Okay, so that's C. And then the third note would be B flat, which is uh, fairly easy going from C to B flat. It's just the adding back the thumb and putting the first finger down with the right hand, the right hand. Okay, so the three notes together, <clears throat> you have D. C, B flat. Okay, so those are the only three notes we need for hot cross buns. So let's try it. Nice and slow. So be careful when you're doing those quarter notes, try to get them to be smooth and connected, separating the notes only with our tongue. Okay, so we're trying to prevent any sounds that sound like this. Okay, we don't need to take a breath after every single note or we try not to. Okay, so we want them smooth and connected. We're going ta 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 instead of ta 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 okay we don't talk like that in sentences right or we would sound like this and that's that's, that's not how we talk okay so we want to make sure everything's smooth and connected Okay, so the only thing separating our sounds or separating our notes would be our tongue. Okay, so we, I always talk about tonguing in all of my videos. Okay, so everybody say ta. Everybody say tu. Now say tu without your voice. Okay, so say tu without your voice four times. Okay, that's tonguing and that's all I'm doing. I'm going two four times without my voice. And that way I save a lot of air actually doing that. Okay, because what tonguing does, it kind of kickstarts our note, gives it a little bit of pressure at the at the beginning of the note, and then that's how the note just pops out. It comes out and it saves me a lot of air. Okay, and that allows me to keep going without having to take another breath where I don't need one. Okay, so again, this is the last of 
couple measures, so starting on the quarter note and then ending with the three half notes. Okay, so try to get um, everything smooth and connected and try to take as few breaths as possible in this um, ex in this little song. It's only uh, like eight measures. So maybe if you took one breath, that'd be that'd be ideal. Okay, and or only take breaths where there are the, the half rests. Okay, and that's great. All right, go practice.